So there is something very special about being the first. That's why we are going to spend the next hour celebrating people who became pioneers. During today's first person episode, we will share incredible stories of how they became a first and we'll discuss some historical firsts that we all remember. Before we get into our first interview, who comes to mind when you think of a very first? Uh, first man on the moon. I mean, Neil Armstrong, don't you all think? One yeah. small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yep. Um, Barack Obama. Yep. Yep. Uh, we were there the night of the election when he was named our first king president. So that was like a historic evening. Very historic. Very cool. And today's show is all about achieving the impossible. And our next guest proves the sky is the limit, literally. Before we chat with Zach Anglin, here's some of his story. Zach Anglin was born in Nigeria without any hands or feet. I was raised on a farm, so like literally, I, I had no choice to adapt to life. Like literally driving tractors, going hunting, going fishing, stacking hay bales, mowing the lawn, doing all these things that, that you know, it took to operate a farm. Despite being a quadruple amputee, he always knew he wanted to fly. I was seeing all these big old airplanes flying in and out of the, uh, Minneapolis, right? And then so I was like, Dad, where are these airplanes going? He said, well, they're, they're there to reunite, you know, families. And I was like, I want to do something like that. And so that's when my fascination really took off. When Zach applied to the FAA at age 18, the process took longer than usual. That's because he was denied five times. I was denied. Um, because there was no advocacy in the world for a person such as me. And so it took, so a normal person would take them about an hour to get a medical. For me, it took me about a year and a half to two years to get the medical. But Zach refused to give up. And in 2019, he finished flight school and became the world's first quadruple amputee commercial pilot. No is a, very, is a word that I really don't like. You know, I really don't like, especially when it comes to accomplishing dreams. And to tell us more about his remarkable story, please welcome to DBL, Zach Englund. Yes. Yes. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> going well. Nice to have you here. <laughs> thank you. It's such an honor to be part of your show. So thank you for taking an interest in my story. Uh, the honor is all ours, brother. So j you said you don't like accepting no for an answer, but you were denied five times by the FAA. So what kept you going? Yes, ma'am. So my wife would call it hard-headed, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, honestly, what kept me going is, is my faith in, in Jesus Christ at foremost, Sometimes but I just want to and, 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 he, and I had a village. And so, you know, um, you know, with that being said, having all those blessings such as, uh, you know, foundations such as my family, friends and so forth, well, they keep me going, right? Because, you know, I grew up in a household of 18 kids. And so, you know, I could either sit there and watch them do everything and have fun, do things that typically normal people would do with full extremities, or I could learn how to adapt and figure out a way myself. And so that's where that uh, motivation came from for, for no is not a possibility. So adapting, that is the That's word of head talk right there. Absolutely. All right. Can you paint us the picture, Zach, about the day when you were finally accepted into the FAA? What went through your mind? Yes. So the day I finally got accepted to get my license or not, not get my license, but to go to flight school so I could train to get my license was just an out outstanding day so it started off with the faa they want to see okay how, can, how am i going to fly an airplane so they want to see me take off taxi and and land do normal things a pilot would be able to do and so the faa airman on um, the inspector so there's one last thing and it was checking the oil cap on the airplane so typically someone with full extremities could take their finger pop the oil cap mm. and see how much oil is inside but obviously I don't have any fingers, right? So now the FAA airman is like, all right, Zach, how are you gonna do this? And so I was like, well, it all comes to adapting, right? Yep. And this is all I know. And so my instructor had a pen in his shirt. And I was like, can I borrow that pen? He's like, sure. And so I took the pen, popped the oil cap and checked. And he's like, sure yes. enough, here we go. There you go. And he's like, out of here. <laughs> Wow, your enthusiasm <laughs> is contagious. And speaking of adapting, I don't know much about planes, right? But did they have to make any adjustments to the planes that you fly? So no adjustments with the aircraft, and that was part of the that was part of the rule. So oh. the 
the, the, the yes sir so the conversation was if they have to adapt stuff to the airplane for me well then i'm assigned to one specific airplane mm. a commercial pilot and flight instructor it's hard to make a living off of just one airplane so we should be able to fly basically anything that we are licensed for and so i came with again adapting in regards to having to move my seat around having to adjust my prosthetic legs so i i can now fly any airplane that, that i'm licensed to fly because of that wow. that that's awesome you know i'm watching the the studio just react to you when you're talking but i want to know what are reactions from passengers when they see that you're their pilot are they happy ecstatic are they rude talk to us Sure. Yeah. So, you know, that's uh, that's a funny thing you say that. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, when they first see me, they're like, oh, my gosh, this guy, this guy's flying my airplane. He's the he's the, he's the pilot in command of, of our aircraft. And and so what's funny is later on, they'll forget and then they'll tell me to do like like they're like they'll tell me to do like certain things such as like maybe to hold two computer bag or something like that for them and then they're like oh my gosh i forgot you're missing your hands <laughs> <laughs> so at first they're just completely shocked and just completely just baffled with what you know what i'm doing but after a while they just forget about it they're like well this guy flies an airplane just like anybody else type of thing so Wow. Incredible. Yes. And you are Amazing, so buddy. inspiring, Zach. Thank you so much for joining us today, for uplifting us. Thank Stevie you. All Nation, follow Zach on Instagram at Zach.England to see more of his amazing story. Thank you again, Zach. Thank you. Thank you.